Hi friends! I've got two dolls to unbox today. One is an Element Doll Artist Head and the other is a Dividing Line Version 2 Blind Box. Both dolls are in the Young SD or USD sizes. I ordered them from a local BJD dealer in a Facebook doll group that I'm part of. Before shipping them to me, I had the dealer check them. That's why you'll notice that the box is no longer sealed and the artist head isn't bubble wrapped anymore. Let's start with the dividing line doll. The box is so cute and these dolls are absolutely adorable. There are two special skin colors, but I believe I'll receive the normal skin as requested by my dealer. I don't mind getting the blind box because I plan to share the body with the element doll head. I'm excited to see what I'll get since it's my first USD resin doll and I have a soft spot for elves, so it's a win-win for me! Her droopy ears got me thinking of characters for her cosplay, like Klee or Sucrose from Genshin Impact. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I also love that she has double joints and can strike decent poses, especially considering the price. Now let's move on to the Element Doll, my very first artist head. I really love this box. It feels fancier than the first one. It says here that the skin tone is in OBH, which I am not yet familiar with but I think experienced hobbyists would understand. Each of these dolls has a unique personality and the PTH Dumpling Head is our favorite. Both my boyfriend and I love her face so much. She has this innocent yet a bit of a snobbish look. I'm surprised when I checked her head. The dragon emblem takes the quality to another level. I'm very impressed. I was already expecting a color mismatch between the body and the head because the last stock of heads turned out to be in OBH which is darker than the dividing line skin. However, since the dumpling head is our ultimate grail, I went ahead with the purchase. I thought of painting the head to match the body, even though it poses a challenge. As a newcomer to this hobby, I accepted the challenge. I already applied several layers of Mr. Super Clear before starting the painting process. I used a textured sponge that I later used for dabbing the paint. For my first attempt, I used a good quality white poster paint, then mix in some red and yellow to create a skin tone color that matches the dividing line skin. Since I don't have an airbrush yet, I'm hoping this method will work. To minimize the sponge pattern, I used a small fan brush. Reducing the visibility of brush strokes was also a challenge. For the next layers, I decided to use only white poster paint. After multiple layers, here's the result. 
It may look good on camera, but in person, it's not quite there yet. I'm not satisfied with the brightness of the color and the visibility of the patterns. But I won't give up just yet. I'm going to give it another try. I purchased a Vallejo acrylic paint hoping for better results. This time, I'll only use white paint to achieve the brightness I desire. Again, I used a sponge and brushes to create a smoother finish. After several layers of blending, I'm loving the outcome. It's not flawless, but it's a significant improvement from the first attempt. Then, I took a peach and pink soft pastels, scraped them into powder, and applied them with an old makeup brush to add warmth to the skin. The top part of the head isn't perfectly polished, but it's fine because wigs will cover it up. Here's a comparison with the first attempt. The head in the second attempt has a brighter complexion that matches the body well. In the future, I hope to have an airbrush kit for flawless results. Or, I might consider getting a tan body for her, so I don't have to redo this every time I change her face up. Although she doesn't have a face up or wig yet, we decided to dress her up in this jumpsuit gifted by her godmother, my best friend, and we named her Pillow. Stay tuned for Pillow's cosplay in the next video. Thank you for watching!